Sam Altman is back as the CEO of OpenAI after a bit of drama and his comeback came just days after his sudden ouster as the chief executive. Justin Nazario tells us more. After days of chaos in the open AI, the company announced an agreement for Altman's return with a new board led by Brett Taylor. The whole situation started with Altman being removed due to unclear reasons. However, his sudden ouster led to employee protests and brought days of chaos for the AI industry. To recall last week, the board decided to remove Altman, but this led to open AI co-founder Greg Brockman's resignation. The details of Altman's firing are still murky, but there were reported tensions between him and the original board over how fast AI development should go, and that they had lost confidence in his leadership. The decision of Altman's firing was made by the three non-employee board members, Adam D'Angelo, Helen Toner, Tasha McCauley, and a third co-founder and the firm's chief scientist, Ilya Sutskever. But many employees were unhappy about Altman being fired, with more than 700 of them signing an open letter, threatening to leave the company unless the original board resigned. The letter also mentioned that Microsoft assured them that they would be given jobs if they wanted to join the company to which Microsoft later confirmed. Meanwhile, Microsoft, OpenAI's biggest investor, then offered Altman a job leading to a new and advanced AI research team. But recently, OpenAI said it had agreed Altman's return to the company in principle. Following this, Brockman said that he would be returning to the company. OpenAI also said that it would partly reconstitute the board of directors that had dismissed Altman. Meanwhile, Emmett Shear, who had been appointed as the interim chief executive, welcomed Altman's return, saying that he was deeply pleased about it after 72 very intense hours of work. Reporting for Newsline Grove, this is Minister Nazario, SMNI News.